Hello there, it's Tina Logassi from Prim Heirloom Designs and I wanted to show you today how I make uh, the heads for Larissa Holland's series. Um, the one I'm doing right now is the 12 Days of Christmas heads. So the first one I'm going to start with is the Made of Milking. She gives really good instructions for how to do these heads, but sometimes, um, uh, you know, it may not be all the information that you need. Um, so maybe if I can show you, then that might help you on your way. Um, so first of all, you start with a, a 20 millimeter bead. The ones that I work with tend to be slightly smaller than 20. It's just the way that I guess that these ones are made, but they're categorized as a 20 millimeter. And I look over it and you look for, I don't know if this will come up on the video, but you're looking for, um, there's a, there are two sides that will almost have like these vertical grain lines on them. And then at the two ends, there'll be like these circle areas. And as Larissa says, you want to do, start your head on, on the, the grain line sides. And I also like to look to see if like here, there's this mark that comes down here. So I think it's a little bit better on this side. So I'll probably start on this side. I have a line across here, but I know that this particular head that'll be covered up once I start to to use the markers and stuff. Um, so I'm going to just start by drawing. So what I do is I make a halfway line and I just eyeball it and I try to keep it as straight as possible. If you're not confident in that, you can, you know, take a ruler and sort of see where you're at with regards to the, the end of the bead. Um, this line here is actually a good good guide because I can sort of see that I'm off a little bit. And this is so nice to start with pencil because you can erase it. Okay, so now I've got my starting line and I need to make the eyes. So what you can do is then make a vertical line. And these are just construction lines and you can erase them afterwards. I'm just kind of going lightly. Um, so I've got as even as I can right in the center of the bead. So now I'm going to draw the eyes and this I will freehand, but you see I end here and I want to look at that approximate distance and I'm going to start over here with the other eye about that distance away. And again, if you're not happy with it, you can go through and you can erase and start over and you can use a ruler again to see if the distances are, are pretty similar, if the lengths of the eyes are equal and that sort of thing. And keep in mind that people's faces aren't always perfect either. So it's okay for it to not be 100% perfect. And then for the mouth, I just literally eyeball a little, little thing. Mine, this one from the eyes down, I mean, you're looking at... It starts at about five and a half millimeters and the mouth width I did is about one millimeter. Um, but again, you can play with that. And so then with this one, she's got a very simple hairdo. I start at this middle line and I start to come down to here. So I kind of draw that in. And then at some point I sort of loop around the back and then I'll flip over to this side and I'll do the same thing. I'll kind of make a little mark here so you know which way I'm going. Come down here and then go around to the back. If I make a mistake, I just erase it and I start over. So the markers that I prefer to use are these, um, and the Larissa Holland recommends these ones as well, the Jelly Roll uh, Japanese markers. Uh, Sakura is the brand and um, this is a black one. I often have like a variety on the go because sometimes the ink dries up for a day and I gotta wait for it to kind of replenish itself. Um, I've got a little piece of paper here to get the ink going on. And these are nice because they don't tend to smear. They dry fairly quickly. Um, so I'll kind of start just to make sure I've got a flow. And now I'm just gonna go over my lines. And I can't talk very well when I'm doing it. So I'm just gonna do that. And that, and perfect. Okay, and then I'm going to eventually erase all of this, um, all of my construction lines. I will give it 24 hours for that marker to set <clears throat> because you risk smearing what you just did if you try to do it too soon. So I wait a good 24 hours. 
and then you can erase all over it. And sometimes when you erase, um, this will lighten up the marks you made, but you can just go back over them again. And then for, <clears throat> for the hair, I'm gonna go along my hairline and then I'm also gonna color a little bit in because I go back on this with a much larger marker to, to fill it in quicker. Um, so that'll, that'll keep that one from bleeding on the edge. And Sharpie markers, I use a, a Staples a Duramark marker works well for me. Um, Sharpie, Sharpie markers and black work well, um, any black permanent marker. Um, but if it's one that's prone to bleeding, you're definitely going to want to take your secure, Sakura and, uh, you know, draw your initial line. And then you're going to want to go back and color in a little bit. So when you go to apply that other marker, you're not even close to the line where it might bleed and wreck the face. So I'm just going to go around and do this. And this is the procedure I use for like literally all of the heads. And I also, you notice as I'm holding the bead, I'm trying to not touch the lines. I know that Larissa recommends you use a, um, a pipe cleaner to, while you're working on it. I find I've got more control if I hold the bead with, um, with one hand and to keep it from slipping out, I really use these center holes to, to anchor my fingers in place. And I find I get a lot of control when I rest this other hand against that bead. It doesn't feel like you're doing this in, in thin air. And it also helps to have your, your elbows resting on something so that um, the, you know, you're not trying to do this in the middle of the air. So it'd be impossible. I'm just going up and what I'll probably do is I'll skip ahead and show you the mouth before I color this in and I'll give this a chance to set. Okay, I'm going to go a little higher up here. So that's as far as I take it with the black Sakura. So now, so like I said, normally I would wait a day before I do any erasing, but I'm just going to gently erase this bottom half a bit. I want to still be able to see the lips but the red won't won't hide your pencil marks so i like to erase it before i go over it with the red <clears throat> the black will hide them but the red won't so now i'm going to turn it and just draw in the little mouth over top of the lines that i had okay there you go and now i'm going to switch to ooh, to my big marker And we're going to color that in. You see how if I go like this, it starts to bleed out the side. So that's why you want to have a nice um, rim around with the uh, with the thin marker that doesn't bleed. So going around here. And then I'm going to get black all over my fingers, but just to show you it finishing off. Going up here. Okay. And there's your maiden milking. Looks good, eh?